couldn't keep it to sleep because a piece of iron was sticking in my head, which was supposed to be the haversack. When I woke up in the morning, I found a king-sized blister on my foot, an aching leg, an aching back, an aching shoulders. <laughs> so I didn't really feel as fit as I would have, should have done. Well, you had, it was fairly cold, and you had to keep yourself uh, wrapped up a lot, and uh, had to put a lot of clothes on your bed, and uh, it was h hard making your food, because some of us only done it for the first time. And uh, it was raining through the night, which made things worse, because some people, their feet come out of the bed, out of the tent, in their bed, and they got that soaking wet. When we, when we started out, we intended to have a pretty good time there, but all the walking and that got you down a lot. And at the end, well, we didn't feel too good, but we was glad we got home. Out there, you don't really feel it. You just kind of go into a hypnotic trance. You kind of walk and walk and walk and walk, and you don't really get anywhere. <laughs> All the countryside looks exactly the same. All the bridges look exactly the same. All the streams are exactly the same. I got a bit cold and wet. My hands kind of froze to my haversack. Because I didn't get back until about well, a couple of hours ago. And I nearly collapsed onto the floor underneath the wet my haversack. 